everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will tell you how to do face stylization using media pipe in nextjs application now you don't have to use nextjs you can use any web framework which you feel like uh, so yeah let's get started now before we get started i will want to tell you if you go to the docs there are various way of face stylization so like there are various different models one is for color sketch uh, this is the URL for a color sketch like you can just copy the link for it one is for color ink and one is for oil painting now I will show you the output so I don't know what I have set first let me just check so what I'll do is that first I have set it to oil painting okay and if I just click on identify here you can see like it's uh, looking pretty scary but uh, yeah I mean it's not uh, perfect but i think uh, it will improve over time next if you want to see the uh, for uh, what color sketch i'll show you that as well i'll just refresh this okay and if i click on identify here you can see it is for color sketch and if you want it for color ink just copy this and i'll paste it over here I'll refresh this quickly and if I click on identify again here you can see this is the output for color ink so yeah if you want to get all these URLs you can go to the documentation over here and for each of this model name you can just copy the link uh, copy link okay uh, next for over here uh, as I'm using next.js uh, again you don't have to use nextjs use whatever you feel like inside package.json i have added this media pipe task vision so use npm install uh, media pipe task vision at the rate media pipe task vision uh, once this dependency is installed uh, i have gone to page.tsx i'll just remove this unused imports and here i am using use client because uh, all pages in nextjs are static rendered or server side rendered then i have imported file set resolver as well as face stylizer as well as use effect and use ref then i have created one variable for face stylizer uh, then i have created two refs one for image and one for canvas so canvas will help us to draw all this oil paint or color ink or color sketch and inside use effect we are initializing our vision so i am passing uh, whatever is the latest version so typically you should uh, not use this at the rate latest sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so it's better uh, instead of at the rate latest you add this uh, name itself at the rate version okay just let me just check if it's still working or not quickly refresh it click on identify yeah it's working it's better to avoid uh, this uh, at the rate okay uh, like at the rate latest uh, always add some uh, version whatever you are using then for model asset path i have just entered the model asset path i have already told you from where you can get and from that we are initializing our face stylizer uh, and here i have just taken one column of div and in next i have taken a div which has row so here as you can see i am using the img tag instead of the image component from next uh, at least at the time of this recording the image component is not working with media pipe i'm not sure what the issue is that's why i have to fall back to img component uh, the traditional html component and here i have taken one canvas as well and attached one ref to it similarly attach the image ref to our img tag and here on button click so i'll just remove this unnecessary code as well so on button click we are just checking if image ref and face stylizer has been uh, initialized or not if yes then we are just calling face stylizer dot stylize and we are passing our image and if the canvas ref has been initialized and if face stylizer is not equal to null as well then we are getting the context from our canvas 2d context and we are just calling canvas context dot put image data face stylizer dot get as image data and this is zero zero okay so yeah that's it uh, that's how you can use face stylization using media pipe Thank you for watching. Bye.